And it looked like Logan is ready to seal the deal here. And Mountain Crest comes up with the turnover. It's clearly out of there. Bounces right to Hall. Wow. The rest of the Mustang offense on the field. Caressa looks to Hall underneath. Hall stays in bounds. He gets close to the first down, but he stays in bounds. Nope, no, he gets the first down. So they stop the clock to set the chains. Where did they? Let's see. Where are they marking this? Just shy of the first down. Timeout, Mountain Press. We have one left. It should be second and one. One oh five on the clock. Officials just motioned up here to the booth, and there is a look at it. They just put the time back on, and it is a first down. As we have an SC Needham Jr. sign of the clock. 105. With number seven at the helm for Mountain Crest. Game's never over. This Logan defense has come up big all night. This is a huge one. Caressa flushed out of there. He'll keep it. Gets to the sideline and gets out of bounds. After he picks up about six. And this one's going to come right down to the end. And may go <laughs> into extra time. Let's see what happens. Three down lineman for Logan, coming after Caressa. Now he's in trouble. Turns up field, has running room. Leaps over a couple of would-be tacklers and he's got a first down. Now he's over 100 yards rushing. And watch the end of this play. Kid should run track and run the hurdles. That's the first oh my goodness. So first down at the 47. 16 carries, 101 yards, three touchdowns. Caressa, lots of time. Now it breaks down and it looks like it's going to be picked, but it's dropped. Somebody coming in late on Caressa. It looked like maybe they might have been spying with Steve Ewing. And once Caressa broke to the edge, Ewing sold out and came on up. And again, look at the clock. 42 seconds left. The Mustangs 53 yards away. And a 53 yards and a PAT away from tying this one up. Five wide receivers. Caressa to his right. Just throws this one away, third and ten. He can't, he can't find anybody open downfield. So now it's third and ten. down territory for Mountain Crest. Caressa got room to run, lots of room to run. Bumps to the outside, picks up a block from Hall. First down and he steps out of bounds in Logan territory. An 18 yard run on third and 10.
That's what they're giving him. They're sending everybody deep, and then he's got room to run. And he brought Mount Crest back within the touchdown on the 43-yard touchdown run a few minutes ago. 26 seconds to play in the ball game. Caressa has a man underneath. It's Hall. Hall out of bounds at the 29. The pickup of six, 20 seconds to play. Hall, six catches, 59 yards. A big touchdown at the end of the half. And a big grab earlier to keep a drive alive for Mountain Crest on third and long. And then he came up with the fumble recovery that started this potential tying drive. Caressa brings it down, in trouble. Now here comes a linebacker, unloads, and it's wide of the mark. 10 seconds to play. Third and down and five. More importantly, it's basically third and 30. Mountain Crest has to get into the end zone. And they've got 10 seconds to do it. They've probably got time for about two plays. And they've got a timeout left. One timeout left for Mountain Crest by our count. Three deep safeties for Logan. They don't want to give up the big play. Mountain Crest is running out of time. Caressa steps up over the middle, has a man. He gets down, three seconds left, and they stop the clock with two seconds left. And that one's down to the nine yard line. It's 21 yards. And who caught that? Looked like it might be, might have been Pickett, number nine. Looks like it was Pickett with the grab. If so, he's got seven catches for 59 yards. And here's the ball game. If Mountain Crest doesn't punch it in here, game's over. If they do. And then they have a chance at the PAT, and we're looking at overtime. And it all comes down to one play. Will Alex Caressa add to his legend? Or will the Logan defense shut the book on this one? If I'm Mountain Crest, I'm probably rolling Caressa out of that pocket. Straight back. Steps up. Got a man in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Mountain Crest. No time on the clock. Taylor Root. Now does Mountain Crest go for two in the win? Or do they play for overtime? Caressa buys time with his feet. Wow. Well, I had the Mustangs is done. They're going for two and going for the win. And Logan wants a timeout. Mountain Crest says, look, this thing's done right here one way or the other. And we said, last team with the, with the ball might be the team that wins this one. Caressa, 119 yards rushing and three touchdowns on 17 carries. 272 yards passing and two touchdowns, including the, that one there. 27 of 38. And all of this 
overshadowing an outstanding performance by DJ Nelson on the other side of the ball. 150 yards rushing for Nelson and 267 passing. And this is why Alex Caress is the best quarterback in the state of Utah. This is it. This is ball game. Mountain Crest going for the win. Caressa looks in trouble. Throws it up. No, Logan wins. Thirty-five, thirty-four. Logan wins the ball game. Mountain Crest goes for two at the end for the win. And the Grizzlies celebrate. Thirty-five, thirty-four. their teeth are chipped or discolored or anything, I would highly recommend Lumineers to any of my friends. And so I talked to some people who had Lumineers, talked to them about the process. It, it, it indeed was painless. It was short. You know, it, it didn't take any great time out of their life. And the results were amazing. I mean, especially for some people that I've seen who had like chipped teeth or a lot of discoloration, totally changed their outlook and their perspective and how they felt about themselves. Your results, your life. Hey, I found McKay Horsey in that whole mess of people. McKay, fantastic game. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Oh, I feel great. I'm on top of the world. We came together as a team, and our defense worked hard. Our offense executed. It was a great game, and I'm just stoked right now to beat Mountain Crest. It's awesome. Talk to me about that catch. You laid all out, and DJ laid it out there for you. Oh, it was a great throw. I just was. I just happened to get under it. That uh, we were able to execute against number 22 a lot, and uh, we were just able to do that. Where are you gonna go from here? Uh, party. <laughs> <laughs> hey, congratulations to the player of the game. Angie's clean the sink. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, man. Back to you, Eric. Feller celebrating at Crimson Field. 479 yards for Logan offensively. 399 for. Mountain Crest, here's 43 of them right here. This brought Mountain Crest back to within seven. And then there was a turnover at the other end. Mountain Crest gets the uh, touchdown that could tie it. I mean, this right here, it, you've, we've, I mean, I thought Mountain Crest was done. Two scores, under three minutes to play. The Logan defense have been playing outstanding. But then Logan answers back, and we get a big run by... D.J. Nelson on first play from scrimmage. It looked like Mountain Crest had recovered the onside kick. But the official said that it was touched by Mountain Crest before it went 10 yards. It was touched literally a yard from that 10-yard mark. And then D.J. Nelson on the very next play goes 44 yards as we have dueling quarterbacks. And he takes this one down inside the 10-yard line. There was a penalty on Logan and backed him up five yards. And D.J. Nelson fumbled the football. It was picked up by Eddie Hall. Eddie Hall picked it up and ran it out a few yards. And then uh, Caressa and the Mountain Crest offense took over from there. 